In this video, I want to talk about the atomic structure and the experimental evidence behind it. So what is an atom? An atom is the simplest form an element can exist as while it maintains its chemical properties. Another thing we must note about them is that they cannot be broken down into simpler substances by chemical reactions. Now it's time to talk about the main subatomic particles within an atom. The first and most important subatomic particle of them all is the proton. This is because the number of protons gives the atom its chemical identity. This is because the number of protons within an atom is equal to its atomic number. A proton weighs 1 AMU or 1 atomic mass unit. It has a charge of positive 1 and the proton was discovered by a scientist called Goldstein. Another subatomic particle we will look at is a neutron. The neutron weighs 1 AMU and has a neutral charge or a charge of 0. It was discovered by a scientist called Chadwick. The protons and the neutrons are located in the center of the atom. This region is called the nucleus. The numerical value for the protons plus neutrons is called the atomic mass. The last subatomic particle we're going to look at is the electron. The electron is located outside the nucleus in things called orbitals. The electron is really light. It's got a mass of 1 over 1836 AMU. The electron is also negatively charged. Another thing about the electrons is that the number of electrons equals to the number of protons in a neutral atom. So the number of positive charges is equal to the number of negative charges, and so the net charge is zero, hence a neutral atom. So here's the experimental evidence for this atomic structure. The most important modification done to the current atomic structure was done by a scientist called Rutherford. He was the one that came up with the gold foil experiment. In this experiment, he got a very thin sheet of gold foil. In fact, it was 13 atoms thick. And then he got an alpha particle source. Alpha particle is just another word for helium nucleus. He shot the alpha particles towards the gold foil. What he found out was that over 98% of them went straight through, and the other 2% either deflected left, right, or went straight back. He came up with the conclusion that atoms are mainly empty space, which explained why nearly all of the helium nuclei went straight through the gold foil. He also stated that they have a small dense positive nucleus which is able to deflect the small alpha particles. Another main advancement in the modern atomic theory came with the cathode ray tube, or the CRT. The main scientist that contributed to the cathode ray tube was J.J. Thompson. All you need to know about the cathode ray tube is that it's an electron gun which fires electrons onto a fluorescent screen inside the vacuum. You also need to be aware that J.J. Thompson was the first to determine that electrons are particles and he calculated its charge and its mass. So this concludes the video on atomic structure. I'm probably going to make another two videos, one on quantum numbers and the other on electron configuration later this week. So if you're interested, uh, stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching.